Ah, the Trek Marlin and Dual Sport series is probably two of Trek's most best-selling bike series. But comparing the two, you can't help but notice the two bikes in their respective series have the same price point. Both the Trek Marlin 5 and the Dual Sport 1 are $569.99. That can only get us to wonder what exactly are the differences and which one is for me. But Nathan, you can't compare a full-on mountain bike with a gravel slash hybrid bike. They're completely different. Well, dear subscriber, I just want to, you to know that this video is not meant to pin two different dis disciplines of cycling against each other, but instead to see how far a buck can get you in both of them. With that, let's see who wins this war. But before, I do have to give you this disclaimer. Here's how this is going to go down. There are going to be 10 categories for which two bikes with the same price and made by the same brand, one meant to be used on gravel while the other meant to be used on the trail, are going to be compared. Of course, there will be a spreadsheet by the end of this video. The Trek Dual Sport 1 is made with Trek's Special Alpha Gold Aluminum Frame, while the Marlin 5 is only made with Trek's Alpha Silver Aluminum Frame. I do get this next one might be a little controversial, but it is worth noting that the Trek Marlin 5 has more travel than the Dual Sport 1. Again, I know that the Dual Sport 1 is not meant to have, nor does it need more than the 63mm of travel that it does have. The Trek Marlin 5 does need the full 100mm for shredding on the trails. On Trek's website, the Dual Sport tires are 700 by 40 c That is a road bike standard, but that makes sense too because Dual Sport is not a mountain bike. Anyway, the Marlin 5 has 29.2.2 inch wheels. Also, looking at the two tires treads, you could see that the knobs on the Marlin are deeper for better traction. As far as the cockpit goes, the 720mm handlebar and stem on the Marlin 5 makes the bike very sturdy. While the Dual Sport has a thinner handlebar and longer stem, this makes the bike less sturdy. That is especially true because the faceplate on the stem is only a 2 bolt one. Here's a shocker, the Dual Sport has a better headset than the Marlin. The headset bearings on the Dual Sport are sealed cartridge bearings, which are smoother and require less maintenance than the caged ones on the Marlin. While both have disc brakes, the Dual Sport has mechanical disc brakes rather than the more powerful and reliable hydraulic disc brakes on the Marlin. On any type of bike, there are two types of free hub bodies, the free wheel and the free hub. The free hub body on the Marlin 5 is an actual free hub over the free wheel on the Dual Sport. But the only gearing system that is compatible on the free wheel free hub body is a free wheel gearing system like the one on the Dual Sport one. That is far less impressive than the cassette system like the one on the Marlin 5. I'll go into that deeper in another video, but long story short, the cassette is easier to upgrade and better overall. Yet, yeah, while riding, you shouldn't notice any difference. In another surprising twist, the Derailer Group Set on the Dual Sport is surprisingly a lot higher end than the one on the Marlin. Yes, while both the Dual Sport and Marlin have 3x7 drivetrains, the Marlin has the lowest end Shimano Tourney Group Set, while the Dual Sport has the Shimano Acera, a better group set. As our final category, the weight between the two is a full pound different. The Dual Sport, with a full pound less than the Marlin, is a lot lighter, most likely due to its Alpha Gold Aluminum frame as opposed to the Marlin's Alpha Silver. Overall, I think the frame goes to the Dual Sport because that frame is lighter and more durable than the Marlin's. The fork goes to the Marlin because there's more travel. Wheel size goes to the Marlin because the Marlin, you get a bigger wheel with more traction. The handlebar and stem go to the Marlin because it's beefier and provides more control than the Dual Sport. The headset goes to the Dual Sport because you get sealed bearings rather than just caged bearings. The brakes go to the Marlin's hydraulic disc brakes because they're more reliable and stronger. The freehand slash cassette 
goes to the Marlin because it's an actual free hub and cassette, which are superior. The derailleur set goes to the Dual Sport with its Acera group set, um, and the weight goes to the Dual Sport, again, a full pound lighter than the Marlin. To conclude, for a $570 mountain bike, you get a better fork, wheel set, cockpit, brakes, and free hub slash cassette, yet for a $570 gravel slash hybrid bike, you get a superior frame, headset, derailleur, and weight. I hope you now know how far a buck can get you in the gravel slash hybrid world versus the mountain bike world. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, and share this video with everyone you think would like this, and most importantly, have the best day ever. next time on Nathan's Bikeopedia.